it was a star playing the Champions Cup like 19 years ago. Oh yeah, no. When I was uh, but the problem is they never got enough women to uh, start the league, so they just just put all the the women together in the in the in the Swiss teams yeah. and come here. So that's why they cannot really train yeah. together. Anyway, we okay. are here, so and the, the fatties have the ball. I I would I would almost say that the fatties do have a fair chance against Switzerland for what I've seen because they've been defending and playing quite well if you consider yeah. that I have almost not international experience yeah. so they do have a fair chance they're, they're really tenacious and um, they, they're strong um, but I think maybe they're just lacking a little bit of that uh, ball handling experience which they is need really exactly hard the experience get. of the tricks you know yeah Okay, so we have, I think that's Anya um, on the Swiss team. Um, she had a good attempt on the goal there, but wasn't able to get it out. Um, but they've maintained possession of the ball, and they're going to um, come in to the goal again. The Singapore players are actually playing quite offensively. You saw the back there shoot out um, almost like a forward. Um, so they're not just holding back, waiting for the Swiss to charge their goal. They um, kind of proactively try and get that ball back. Hmm. Apparently, it's just three teams in Switzerland, Zurich, Basel, and Luzern, and they used to have many more, but um, they went down, I mean, from 10. I'm just, you know, reading the, yeah. the chat. <coughs> so, let's see. It's it's a completely different pace that from the game we just saw. That <laughs> game was so fast, we couldn't oh. keep up. But we oh have okay. Oh, so okay. First goal Great there. attack. Number six. The uh, Swiss attack came exactly from the corner, from above, just grabbed the neck and the shoulder of the goalie of the Singapore team and pull it on the side and put the ball in that gap. So good job. First uh, goal uh, of this match, 1-0 after eight uh, minutes, I mean after two minutes of uh, game. So we have eight minutes to go, a bit less. So I think at least in the Australian case like we I know we don't always um, practice defending uh, from attacks from above on the goalie you and don't in, in Australia you mean in Australia, in Australia well I haven't been there for a year so I can't really um, talk about what's been happening the last but year yeah, but, but when in when general were, yeah, yeah uh, most of the time we practice attacks it's attacks from below yeah and uh, and so of course we get experience defending attacks from below yeah. Uh, but it looks like a lot of teams at this tournament are making advan taking advantage yes. of them. Um, yes, they're trying at above. least they're to trying to create some chaos and confusion mm. from above. So if you as a goalie are focused on an attack from above and the pass and the ball can come faster to the yeah. bottom player, then you cannot put the, the strength of putting up to being pressed down on the goalie and then yeah. normally you can achieve a, a goal faster so let's see we have switzerland attacking and the fighters okay. are trying to defend now they are replacing the uh oh so we have a little goalie. bit of goalie mixed up here oh yes uh, but well okay they tr just recover and um what i see and i've seen in the other games is the four checkers of uh, singapore are not as effective so the uh, yeah, just kind of swim goalies in and the defender have a lot of work Ooh. to do and eventually that creates you know the, mi the gap that was a good attempt at um, swimming out and recovering in the ball there when both um, the goalie and the back swam out at the same time. Um, like, inexperienced teams don't do that. <laughs> so, no, don't Singapore, do uh, where the goalie and the um, back swam yeah. out um, uh, yes, to no, exactly. the ball at the same time. So, that was yeah. what I mean. Of the game I've seen, I'm very surprised because they do have some technical and technical yeah. aspect that they put. Of course, I'm lucky sometimes you experience some tricks and the condition or the nerve or the mental strength to continue against more experienced well, teams, but they're doing a good job. They've got a small goalie there and uh, I really hope they don't get caught up on, um, on shorter in the goal and have penalties against free them. Free throw, wow, okay, free throw for the Fari, so they can yep. breathe a little bit, so that's great. That attack on the mask Ena. by Swiss team. Ena and G, so you're Hi, related to the, to, the, to the player. How you pronounce the NG, can you write it? Like, <laughs> how can I speak it out in if possible? <laughs> and Ina, I, I would love to. Yeah. I've hung out with Ina and played with her, and we traveled together in, okay. uh, in Cali. But you never learn how to <laughs> say the name properly, <laughs> Shane. I think, I think we talked about it once. Uh, and oh. yeah, I think it's like just. Mm, like <laughs> just believe. Mm. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ina. 
<laughs> okay, could be, but I don't know. Maybe the G is another, you know, sound. It's like, I think it's like like a half silent G. Okay. No, I should shut up. I, okay. I'm talking on my own here. Okay. Educate us. Check his Facebook Messenger. I sent a voicemail. Oh, how sweet. Okay, uh. we're going to check that when we have a, a, a little, um, a few minutes in between, maybe in the okay. break. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So we have uh, okay, four yeah. and a half minutes left. We have to apologize. Half. The right camera is having issues. I hope uh, they can. Yeah, it looks for me. It looks like maybe water went in. Give Does me one say second. I will. Be overheating. Okay. Hold on. Alright, so we just headed on the golf, the Swiss team. You censor the swear words on the voice, mate. <laughs> ¿Qué partido sigue? Okay, while we're watching this game and we're trying to solve the problems on the right camera, coming up is the Sea Dragons, the Australian, so Bobby is oh wow. being <laughs> and is having Macos against the US. Let's, see, okay. Okay, let's stay tuned in this game, and it's also the females for the semi final. Uh, of the nine uh, place. All right, let's see. So good free throw from the Swiss team. Mariana C. Dragons contra is having Macos es el partido que sigue. All right, so we've got one on one situation on the goal here. But oh, that's in. Oh, okay. that was a good attack, one on one, and uh, the Swiss girls, they are like, look, they're they nine really, of them. yeah. Okay, I now mean, good job. they know they can do it, they're just gonna, you know, try pumping in those goals one yeah. after the other. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's going. I mean, it's not really, really easy. I mean, they are putting up a, a great fight. No, but I think it makes a big difference after you've scored yeah. the first goal. You, um, you know, <laughs> we have the oh, do you think she was excited here. there? Yeah, they don't have anything better to do yeah. than the funny faces, so we cannot concentrate on the game. Um, so, uh, oh, that's I the referee that fell asleep before. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Uh, if we can have image on the right hand side, camera, so this I think that they're working on this, so let's see. Uh, what I was uh, w wanted to say is that depending on the team and on the mental strength, of course, after a few goals, it can happen that you start yeah. then scoring a like nothing, a or, or sometimes yeah. not. Not, mo I mean, more often than not, it happens like yeah. that. But there are a few teams that sometimes even recover and it makes it even more difficult. Yeah. So, um, but it's all about the mental strength. We are talking about this exactly with the Piranhas girls that they have also won 4-0 against the Faris yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today they lost twice against stronger teams like Denmark and mm -hmm. Castores, like 11-0. And the last five minutes of the second half, they, they got half of the goals, right? Wow. I mean, until okay. one, one time and a half, they got like five uh, or six scores. And then the last minutes, all the rest, because they were mentally defeated already, yeah. right? Yeah, it makes so a huge have, difference. Yep. Okay, so Singapore's recovered the ball, but they don't have anyone to pass to. The goalie's a little bit late in reacting uh, to the counter-attack. So, looks like they've been swam out there on the side. Jorge, sí, correcto, okay. gracias they por the ball in, but now they're kind of a little bit too bunched up. Alright, so finally we have um, some space. counter-attack, uh, let's... Oh, oh. Okay. Mm, that's our... Um, Shoddy camera but they're working on that. They know they're yeah. where and they're working on that. Okay. But this is uh, now the second time uh, the yeah. Fatties have taken the ball all the way to towards the Swiss goal. Yeah. Um, let's see if they can hold on to it. So. Yeah. Ich kann auch ein bisschen was auf Deutsch sagen für die Schweizer Gemeinde. Die Bedas haben ein super Spiel, die sind zu neun und ich bin sehr positiv beeindruckt. Die haben bis jetzt drei äh, Tore gemacht gegen Singapur. Singapur ist jetzt eine neue Mannschaft, aber äh, die machen einen sehr guten Job. Wenn man denkt, es ist das erste Mal, dass sie spielen hier international oder vielleicht zum zweiten Mal, aber gegen äh, europäische äh, Mannschaften. Also okay. wir haben okay. jetzt wieder die, äh, eins gegen eins oh. und das war äh, ein okay. Tor, also so 4 0. I just okay. blew my trip, you know, but what yeah. do I think? <laughs> okay, so we only have uh, about 20 seconds left on the clock now, or the first half. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the girls from Singapore regroup after the, uh, the two and a half minute break they get. And um, yeah, let's see if they have that mental strength to staunch the, uh, the bleeding. This is almost over for the first time. And 
Now we have three minutes break in between 4-0 for Elvetia. And um, they're going to change size now and hopefully we have an image on the right camera soon. And uh, yeah. These girls are destroying our sleep. Uh, I think that the Colombian. What's it, the ten different with the Colombian? Oh, when the Colombian has six <laughs> hours earlier, I believe. Hi, Jorge. And this so is uh, Jorge <coughs> is from Singapore. No, no, Jorge no. is watching from uh, Melbourne. So uh, uh, it's, it's uh, three uh, Australia over there now. Yeah, Australia. Uh, yeah, well, half an hour later than before. Um, before was two thirty. Yeah, so it's three o'clock, and so the next game starts in like. 15 minutes. <laughs> I get that there's worse <laughs> scenarios than being away to watch uh, an underwater rugby game on a l very late Saturday night. So yeah, so <laughs> we got a couple of whinges here, Jared yeah. and Jorge complained at the time, but you know, if they uh, if they wanted to watch the game at a more reasonable hour, they could have just come here with the girls. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> poor form, guys, poor form. The Finnish guys are coming into the pool. It's great to be here because we can see the teams interacting, going in, going yeah. out, and we have a little bit of uh, an idea of you know which teams are on the pool. Okay, did they just start again? Uh, uh, no, 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 still break. We have oh okay, so that's the is yep, that the replay? No, this is what the people see at home. That's what I'm saying, okay. that they are uh, a little bit behind. I thought they were in front of us. No, I mean, they're still watching things we already saw. Oh, oh, really? Okay. I believe, yeah. This is a little bit behind, but right now it's there here. Look, mine, I think mine is more accurate. Okay. You see... Should I drag this forward? You can put it forward, yeah. Okay, Let's see where there we, we go. Then there we have a more idea, idea where they... It's maybe... It's not a lot, but it's a bit... Let's see... And so we have an idea what people right. are watching. So we've got a few Singaporean food, Singaporean guys commenting here. Um, Key and Wilson are having a bit of a banter. And uh, did Singapore came? Because they told me that they went to the um, Pan, Pan Pacific, Pan Pacific yeah. Cup that you organized. And it's, a, it's, a l uh, it's very far away from Singapore to Australia with a flight. Uh, Pan Pax is in Brisbane, um, so Singapore to Brisbane, I don't know, it's like five hours maybe. Okay, mm, just <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, I mean, it's... Uh, look, I think they are, they are about a minute behind. Uh, okay. That's pretty much a difference because of the streaming and the right. revenue. You know. So are, are these comments? I mean yes, they're all the comments. Well? No, 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 the comments are... Uh, Happening in real time. Real time. Okay, that's just messing with my brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be. Now you got me there. I don't know. It could be that they are also a little bit behind. Right. I mean, I'll turn my head definitely, the comments are of what they are watching. I think. I Kay. don't know. Oh, you kill me there, Bobby. I, I, I cannot answer that. <laughs> yeah, how okay, so the game started again, and the fatties, their goal was under siege, and all oh, the goalies kind of lost position there. Oh, that um, was close. Yeah, they had an open basket there for a while. Um, and the Swiss girls are wrestling each other. <laughs> so, let's see if we're going to see a repeat of um, dominance um, in possession by the Swiss girls. Okay, so we have another goal in the first minute of the second half. Taking us to 5-0. Let's try this again. Yeah, sorry. Come I on, was Singapore. Yep. I was checking with both, and the chat is live, but the problem is they're commenting on things that they we saw a minute ago or something. Oh, so it's a really little bit okay. behind on the thing yep. to say, so that's right. why. Definitely, that is not okay. very. Yeah. I uh. think it looks like the Swiss girls. <laughs> I mean, look at the goalie. The goalie is just like three, four meters away from the goal. So they're kind of going all in, they're not um, playing anything safe. Well, but now they changed the sides. Now they changed the sides, but I was just commenting, like, if you look at the goals on the surface, they're yeah. really only, like, four or five metres from um, the second pole goal. So they're not, like, they don't have one player all the way back uh, in the middle of the pool just, you know, to catch any counter-attacks up. So they know they've got 
control of this game and they're pretty much sending uh, all the players uh, in right above the Singaporean goal. But but they had the one goalie here. Yeah, yeah, but that's only like four meters, four or five meters away. Uh, I, th well, yes, and, and, and you mean that uh, she should be a little bit behind? Or oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, saying that because they're obviously dominating this game. Um, well, but that's a normal tactic we use. Uh, you have always the goalkeeper. Yep, uh, further like back. Uh, no, 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 like three meters away or four, and then you, s you always... Yeah, but when throw. teams are really closely matched uh, yeah. and you're worried about counter-attacks... Oh, well, you okay, because yeah. you know you are dominated. Yeah. Okay, now I understood. Sorry. Yes, you don't take that risk if you have a, a team yeah. that is uh, fast to counter attack. Yeah, and then when you know so if you know you've got the uh, edge over your opponents, yes, then correct. you move everyone further and further forward, yeah. and that gives you yeah. more and more of yeah. an advantage. Correct. Camera, please. Camera, 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 camera. I I, I said <laughs> enough. I mean, open up because they can hear us, guys. Camera, please. Hmm. Knock on the glass. We're trying. Come. Yeah, now here we are back. Uh, they were. All right, so we have the Paris in position. Uh, yep. So we have the Swiss girls attacking from the uh, open side. But the fact is, nevertheless, what would impress me, even, I mean, thinking that they are so young and, and such a new team from a country that has just the only one team, because do they have more teams, Singapore? No, no. just one team. So they are training among themselves. They have men and female, and they still they are in two position. They're consequent. Of course, they're lacking of experience, maybe condition, but still, they the goal is there, the defender is in there, and they're All trying. Right, so we have a penalty situation over here Six for short in the basket. Penalty. Penalty against uh, the Singapore team. This is really unfortunate because I don't think any of the Singaporean players mean to get their shoulders in the basket. They just have like such small players on the goal. Yeah, um, well, but the Swiss girls aren't big, really. No, they're not, but I think perhaps they have like um, some broader shoulders. Um, I mean, yeah, it, really, it would really suck <laughs> trying to keep your shoulders out of the goal when <laughs> the goal is this big. <laughs> Okay, so some good defense by the goalie. Oh, oh, okay, but good job. I mean, still, uh, nevertheless, in the timeout, I mean, the captain of the Singapore girls is asking for a timeout. There's five minutes left from this second half, and the uh, Swiss girls are winning 7-0. When did the FAT team start? Two or three years ago, you remember? I think it's at least three years ago, three at and a half. Three, maybe. three and a half. Yeah. So now um, I was speaking to Key just uh, yesterday, and he's saying that they have about 65 uh, regular members. They have there? 65 regular members? Yeah. Wow. Men and women. Respect. Yeah. That's a yeah. great job. Of I course, mean I don't think 65 people turn up to no, every training. No, I understand, <laughs> yeah. but still, nevertheless, and I am, um, you know, we had them, all of them came to uh, the academy. And we had right. some really interesting topics about yeah. mental training, about the uh, backstroke attack. Uh, you know, yeah. Samuel Gaviria is doing biomechanic analysis, yeah. so who was telling how the backstrokes are working and how to execute that backstroke the best. And the he was stroke, yeah, like the backstroke is like pretty much um, when you push the goalie with your shoulder up, right, and okay. you have the ball. I mean, they 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 uh, there's different ways of doing it, but the Colombians pretty much they arrive under the goalie yeah. on the the back side, you know, mm -hmm. not on the head. They put the ball on the bottom and then they kind of push against, yep. go bring them ball uh, up and then put it inside right. the basket. And uh, so they were very happy uh, because they, you know, had some interesting things that they learned. They can start implementing in the yep. club because they will, they're willing to develop rugby more and more. And yeah. for this, you need also the knowledge and know how and they're working on that, so respect for the work of the fatties. Yeah, no, they definitely um, do a lot of good work and they work hard to recruit and... Oh, uh, the Kia Hao Key says uh, they have been established in 2014, so we are four, four years, years old. Okay. Thanks for that clarification, Key. Um, all right, so let's see if we can get a good solid attack out of this. Oh. They, okay, well, the goal has gone off the goal. There was an opportunity there to steal the goal, but it wasn't taken. 
In any case, the ball's gone up, and the Swiss have it again. Looks like they're going to go for a counter-attack. But she's alone, doesn't have much support. Okay, fumbles past. Still on the side. Um, it's on the open side, so she has to watch out in case a You see, comes even, down. even the goalie went down trying to defend that attacker. And that's, you know, newer teams sometimes don't, yeah. depending how nervous they are, then they're lacking the air because the heart is pumping, they're nervous, they show yeah. a little bit, and they have to work out in the technique of laying on the on the um, basket, but they're really doing an, a very good job. Also the defenders. Yeah, they've, got, they've yeah. definitely got a system going. Um, and y imagine, they it's have... It's just fine tuning at the stage. You, you know who started the uh, rugby? In the in Singapore, there was I think a there was a Key Wilson and a few other guys. And um, and how did he learn about rugby? Did Key he started playing in Australia. Okay. Yeah. Great. So rugby in Australia was started by uh, Celine Celine Steinfeld. Okay. Uh, and she started playing when she went to Sweden on exchange. Okay. And uh, she started the club with some friends when she and came back to And this is like Sydney. ten years ago, right? Up Twenty oh eight, wow. two thousand eight. Yeah, so it's ten years oh now. Oh, okay. All right, so we have the girls in the surface fighting for the ball, and uh, the ball has been recovered by the Swiss okay. people. Two Ooh. against one. She just pulled up the goalie. That was a bit of a textbook attack, and the goalie didn't have much of an option, and that's yeah. another goal for the Swiss girl. There's nothing worse uh, than being a goalie, and uh, there's no <laughs> defenders or uh, forwards. Down yeah, there and you have a counter attack with two. Yeah. It's <laughs> like. Uh, or you can do is Normally kick. an effective, what, what I do to defend an attack like that, I sit in front and I do like an espagat, I open my, my leg uh, to, yep. to stop yep. right and left. I don't think and she had time though, like she... Uh, and then you need to go up fast. Yeah. But like this, you, I mean, I have been able to, you know, stop them from scoring because then this is the second that they need your for your uh, teammates to arrive yeah. on time and continue with the fight. So if you go up, you have almost no chance. Yeah. If you know how to use your fins and your legs yeah. to keep people away, then it's very hard. All right. Come on, Singapore. You can get this ball. Did Alice Chong start with the fat? I don't think so. She's an experienced player. There is an article uh, that uh, Wolf uh, wrote about her. She did, he did an interview, and Alice played hockey and rugby, but uh, I think she started in Australia. No, Alice started the club in, uh, in Shanghai. Ah, she started Shanghai. a hockey club in Shanghai. Yeah. Um, but she is, I think she's one of the founders, like um, one of the original uh, players uh, when Fat formed. But okay. uh, I'm pretty sure Fat started uh, with Key oh, okay. and Wilson. Ah, okay, so she was one of the founders of the club. Okay, yep. Okay. So Daniel, it looks like yes. Let's see. The, um, the Swiss girls are trying to score another time. We have four of the fatties there trying to remove the ball from one of the Swiss players and that ball went down to the next Swiss player and to the next one and okay. now to the next one and it's now one on one alone. and uh, that took a little bit long so uh, let's see how great I mean the goalkeeper could recover the position of defender too and that was a close one but this is what I mean you know they have the time to recover and they are very new, but you don't have goals uh, in empty basket. Really, no. I think we have just the one. Hasn't been empty that exactly. much. Exactly, it's just because they don't have the technique to defend and attack, and sometimes the defender is missing. But uh, it's it's amazing yeah. job. I mean, really, very very and good job. There's only ten seconds left of the game, and let's see if they can make sure there's no other goals. Two minutes and forty seconds. Ah, okay, no, that's the end of the game, sorry. <laughs> and that's a break. A0 for Switzerland. And now come Sea Dragons and uh, the East Haven Macos. So there's also some Colombian play uh, players playing in Sea Dragons that live right. in uh, Australia. And there are some Colombian players playing and they East Haven Macos that <laughs> live in the US. Yeah. This is so <laughs> funny. When you this know when the, the teams come to talk you have yeah. Colombian pe people talking to me here and I'm and and I'm and I'm like which team are you in? Because it could be um, it could be any Australia, <laughs> Colombia, US uh, and I'm missing a uh, Col um, Spain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like oh help me here. Let's see if we can go uh, the rooster Let's see, team list. 
And the time in, in Australia, it, it's very, very much from the one in Singapore, just a few uh, hours ago. I think Singapore is probably an hour behind, maybe two. Okay. Actually. You say we said three o'clock, pretty much now. Yeah. So, so in Australia, it's three, three thirty almost. Oh, I thought that was in Singapore, three. No, no, three o'clock in the morning. And this is in, in Australia. Australia. Okay, yeah. and in the Singapore, East Coast. and you said Singapore, I think it's maybe two hours behind. Okay. Um, any help, Meaning guys? Meaning this is one or five. What <laughs> <laughs> I can't think. When you say two hours behind, it's even. Oh <laughs> okay. So it's like uh, it will be one thirty. One thirty. Okay. In Singapore. Oh, sorry. Should be. And that it's confusing to me when you say behind and that and that related in time. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we are now the next uh, semi-final for the nine place is going to be between the Sea Dragons of Australia and the uh, is having <sighs> Maccas. I know it's hot. We can yep. open the door maybe a little bit. Lisa. And uh, let me review the roosters. Lisa. Victoria Sea Dragon. We have or not I think Bobby can read that one. The Macos. Macos, Macos um where are they? Here. Number one, Laura Bedoya. Number four, Isabella Bedoya. Number six, Samantha Hernandez. Number eight, Daniela Bedoya. Those three are sisters who have been informed. Thirteen, Natasha Samayengo. Uh, Fourteen, Charlene Carmona. Number sixteen, Ashley Granada. Uh, Eighteen, Tony Marie Basil. Twenty, Elena Prieto. Uh, Twenty-one, Mariluz Heitman. Uh, 24, Alejandra Carmona, 28, Mabel Riva, Riva de Neira, 66, Julia Kremer, 70, Angela Martinez, 72, Yesenia Paulovske. And you can read the Sea Dragon. Oh, is Julia playing yeah. for the Makos? So Julia was in um, the U21 just last week. Okay, the Sea Dragons, uh, the ladies, we have number four, Tanya Klein, number five, Natalie Hartman, uh, number 9, we have Sarah Malik. Number 10, Sarah McCarthy. Uh, 11, we have Lucero uh, Peromo. 14, Jenny Martinez. 20, Yvette uh, Mascarenhas. Uh, 21, Emma Green. 29, Sonia Pennanen. And uh, number 30, we have Alicia Fong. Number 39, we have Claire Roquette. Um, and 52, we have Manuela Salaza. Um, Nali. Uh, Solano is 58, and, and number 88 is Sophie LeMand. Thank you so much. And they brought us also like a little... Go um, girls. Ha again, help me here. Yep. How do you call these? We have been calling this coat of arms or stuff like that, but you call it... How, what's uh, it? Mandarin, how you call <laughs> a it? Bunting? <laughs> uh, no, what is the name of it? I think we just say uh, it's a flag. A flag? Oh. We call it banderin in Spanish. I don't okay. Do we have a special word English for it in English? English speaking community... Bunting. Yeah, that's what I thought, but bunting is like a series of them. How yeah. How do you call these? We call this banderines. Oh, I know. We Spanish call it a, um, a pizza logo. Pizza slice? Pizza, slice? pizza logo. Pizza logo? Yeah, it's a logo and it's a pizza. So it's a pizza logo. Come on, people from English speaking countries. You can do better. Pizza logo, really? This is called yeah, a pizza logo. I think it's settled. Pizza All right. Pizza logo. Pizza yeah. Oh well. Well, Banderin is probably not much better, but. Uh <laughs> no, no, no. After that. Oh, right. after that comes Orcas uh, Rixu. <laughs> what they are telling us uh, how to speak proper English. But isn't it English your mother tongue? It is, yeah. Okay. But All right, but in Australia, like, they use different words for. for are you still talking about that? Yeah, for instance. For instance, <laughs> just in general. That's a very specific thing, which <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we yeah, don't have. We don't have words for very specific things. Of course, <laughs> we all do have. We, you don't know the word, but um, yeah. But we, 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 I don't know why in Spanish. I mean, we yeah.